There are loads more bedtime stories on BBC iPlayer. Just search CBeebies Bedtime Stories. Hi there, my name's Melissa, and I'm here to read you a bedtime story from under the sea. It's the story of a rather drab little fish who wishes he was as bright and beautiful as the tropical fish in Coral Reef City. Sounds like he needs a little help. After all, who doesn't want to transform themselves into something magnificent? This poor, unfortunate soul just wants a bit more sparkle in his life. But his wish does not go to plan. The story is called Tropical Terry, and it's by Jarvis. In Coral Reef City live some of the most dazzling shoals of tropical fish in all of the ocean. Dashing and flashing, they spun and swirled in great flurries of color. And then there was Terry. Hello. Terry lived with his best friends, Scylla the crab and Steve the sea snail. Each and every day, the three friends would play games together, dodge a dolphin. Scylla had a great sidestep. Shark speed, Steve tried his best, and hide a fish. Nobody you see was better at hiding than Terry. But no matter how many times Terry asked, the tropical fish did not want to play with him and his friends. Hide a fish is such stupid game, said Long John. It's dull, it's boring, grunted Goldie. Terry the dull fish, teased Dot. The fancy fish got Terry down in the sea dumps. Cheer up, Terry. You don't need them, said Steve. You can play with us, said Scylla. But Terry couldn't stop thinking about how he could become part of the dashing, flashing crew. Then the next morning, Terry had a brilliant idea. He gathered as many bits and bobs as he could find. And with Scylla and Steve's help and a lot of sticky seaweed, Terry became tropical. Everybody. Just call me Tropical Terry, he bubbled. Terry was now the most dazzling tropical fish in all of Coral Reef City. Hi, guys, said Terry casually. Wow, looking good, Terry, said Long John. Do you want to join us, asked Goldie. We're going to swim around in circles, grinned Dot. The new Tropical Terry was so popular. But soon, he was far too busy flaunting and posing to play with Scylla and Steve. Shimmering and shiny, Terry swirled around and around in circles until Eddie the eel arrived in Coral Reef City with one thing in mind, dinner. And he had a particular taste for big swishy tails and colorful tropical fish. The tropical fish swam frantically trying to escape, but Terry's decorations were slowing him down. His fins were heavy, his tail sluggish, and bubbles were getting in his eyes. Eddie, meanwhile, was getting closer and closer, his eyes narrowing, his jaw opening wider and wider. What could Terry do? Dodge him, Terry, yelled Scylla. Quick, shark speed, shouted Steve. And as Terry swerved and dived, his decorations began to fall off. The fancy fin, the swooshy tail. Suddenly, Terry knew just what to do. Hide a fish. Eddie peeped and peered, but he couldn't find Terry anywhere. Nobody, you see, was better at hiding than Terry. Oi, fishy, fishy, where are you? So Eddie slithered off to find his dinner elsewhere. The coast was clear. Whew, gasped Terry. If it weren't for Scylla and Steve, I'd be Eddie's dinner by now. And he set off to find them. Scylla and Steve were so glad to have their friend back to his old self. Being tropical just wasn't me, said Terry. Now, who wants a game of hide-a-fish? We do, said all of the tropical fish. We want to learn how to hide just like you, Terry. So that's how Terry, Scylla, Steve, and all the tropical fish became friends. And guess what? Eddie the eel had to make do with sand sandwiches for the rest of his days. Oi, fishies, where are you? Wow, what a great story. Terry discovered the value of being true to yourself and being loyal to your friends. And in the end, he had a whole shoal of friends who loved him for just being Terry. Now it's time to swim off to bed for the sweetest of underwater dreams. And tomorrow, remember to be who you truly are, just like Terry did. Good night. 
loads more bedtime stories on BBC iPlayer. Just search CBeebies Bedtime Stories.